Hi students, coming to the next topic that is the instruction set of 8086 microprocessor. So actually the 8086 microprocessor unit supports total 8 types of instructions. So first one is data transfer instruction. Arithmetic instruction. Bit manipulation instruction. String instruction. Next program execution transfer instruction. So this means uh, branch and loop instructions. So the another name for this is the branch and loop instructions. And the sixth one is process control instruction. Process control instructions. Seventh one is uh, iteration control instruction. Iteration control instruction. And the last one is the interrupt instruction. So these are the eight different types of instruction sets that are used in 8086 microprocessor. Now let us discuss one by one. The first one is the data transfer instruction. So what is the data transfer instruction? So the data transfer instruction is simply it just transfers the data from one location to the another location. So let's see this data transfer instruction. So these instructions are used to transfer. So the data instructions. These instructions are used to transfer the data from the source operand to destination operand. We are just moving the data from source operand to destination operand. So let us see the different following uh, list of instructions. Instruction to transfer a word. Instruction to transfer the address. Instruction for input and output port transfer. Instruction to transfer flag register. So these are four different types of data transfer instruction. So if you want to write, if you want to transfer a word, you will use these instructions. Move, push, moving the data from one in the register to another register. So these words represents the instructions. So it is instruction is nothing but it is saying something to do. So what it has to do this op code the op code itself you call it as an instruction. Operation has to be performed. What type of operation has to be performed on the operands on the values what type of from source operand and destination operand what type of operation has to be performed that will be indicated by the instructions move push pop exchange these are all the types of instruction transfer a word instruction to transfer the address if you want to transfer the address you have to use load effective load uh, load uh, ds and load es next instruction for input and output ports so input and output if you want to transfer the data from if you want to take the data from input to the uh, processor in instruction if you want to transfer the data from processor to output devices you have to use out instruction transfer flag register l a h f okay load a h register contains the value so that should be a l l a h flag store a h flag push flag and the pop flag now coming to the second instruction. So the second type of instruction is arithmetic instruction. So this arithmetic instruction will do all the arithmetic operations, logical operation. So arithmetic instruction, these instructions are used to perform arithmetic operations like additions, subtractions, multiplications, divisions, everything. Okay. So the different types of instructions are instruction to perform addition. If you want to perform an addition, you have to do uh, use the instructions add add with carry increment ascii adjust after addition instruction to perform multiplication mul mul i mul means it's nothing but sign multiplication sign multiplication ascii adjust after multiplication instruction to perform subtraction sub sub subtract with borrow decrement ascii adjust after subtraction 
instruction to perform division div sin div i div means signed div ascii adjust after division so these are the different arithmetic instructions so now coming to the third type of instruction the third type of uh, instruction is the bit manipulation instruction so what is the use of bit manipulation instruction these instructions are used to perform operation where data bits are involved in operation means only a single bit has to be you have to perform the operation on a single bit these instructions are used to perform operation where data bits are involved that is operations like logical shift so means we are doing the operations only on the bit manipulations only on single bit logical or for shift operation we go for bit manipulation so the different types of bit manipulation instructions are instruction to perform logical operations logical operations are not and xor test and instruction to perform shift operations shift left shift arithmetic left shift right shift arithmetic right and instruction to perform rotate operations rotate left rotate right rotate carry uh, right with carry rotate left with carry so these are the different types of bit manipulation instruction that is the logical operations shift operations and the rotate operations now coming to the fourth one that is the string instructions so the string instructions so here string is nothing but is a group of bytes or words so whatever it may be it should be a byte or a word a group of bytes or a word you call it as a string so and their memory is always allocated in sequential order so the different types of string instructions are repeat repeat equal repeat zero repeat not equal repeat not zero move string move string byte move string word compare string compare string byte compare string word increment string increment string byte increment uh, sorry input string input string byte input string word output string output string byte output string word so these are all the different string instructions that are used in the programming language and next coming to the fifth type of instruction that is program execution and transfer instruction so for program execution for transferring what type of instructions we will use we will use the transfer or uh, loop conditions the branch or loop conditions so these instructions are used to transfer or branch the instruction during an execution means the co the controller will jump from one location to the another location and it uh, transfer from data from one location to another location it includes the following instruction instruction to transfer the instruction during an execution with without any condition so if if a no condition is mentioned those type of instructions are call you are just writing call what do you call no you didn't mention any condition just you are calling call return jump and means without uh, uh, it jump to particular location return to particular call to uh, call the data from location that's it but it doesn't satisfy it doesn't want to satisfy any condition but the instruction to transfer the instruction during execution with some conditions if some conditions to status mean jump if carry okay if uh, carry is there then only you have to jump otherwise you have to continue with the program jump if equal jump if zero jump if not no carry jump if uh, the sign bit is there jump if overflow condition is occur okay so these are the different program execution transfer instructions now coming to the next process control instruction so the processor control instructions are used to control the processor action by setting or resetting the flag values just when you control the processor when you control so whenever some setting and resetting the flag values then only you can control the processor how you can control the processor by using these instruction stc use it to set carry flag clc use it to clear or reset the carry flag smc cmc uh, clc is a clear carry flag cmc is used to put complement at the state of carry flag std set the direction flag df21 clear the direction flag df20 set the interrupt flag means it is enabling the interrupt input set means it's enabling cli disabling the interrupt input cli means disabling interrupt input and uh, sta means enable interrupt input so these are the different processor control instructions 
and the next one is iteration control instruction so you are just controlling the iterations the loops you are controlling these instructions are used to execute the given instruction for number of times when a iteration means the name itself is saying it has to perform number of operations the iterations so number of times the given instruction has to be executed so following is a list of instruction under this group loop use it to loop a group of instruction until the condition satisfied what condition until the count becomes zero whenever the count becomes zero then only uh, up to that you have to continue the loop loop of uh, loop if equal or loop if zero use it to loop a group of instruction till it satisfied zero flag is one and cx is zero so for everything the loop the count has to be decrement to uh, it has to reach to the zero and the condition that has to be satisfied zero flag is set loop if not equal or loop if not zero use it to loop a group of instruction till it satisfied zero flag is zero and the cx is zero jcxz use it to jump to the provided address if cx is zero so these are some iterative control instructions iterative means it's a number of times executing so for that you have to use a loop condition and the last instruction set is the interrupt instruction these instructions are used to call the interrupt during program execution whenever the program is executing something the processor is executing something these interrupt instructions are uh, used to interrupt the program execution so int use it to interrupt the program during execution and calling the service specified into so whenever the overflow flag is set use it to interrupt the program during execution of if overflow flag is set irt interrupt return use it to return from interrupt service routine to main program whenever the interrupt service routine is returning to main program irt is a interrupt request code that we used in the programming language so these are the different instruction sets of 8086 microprocessor thank you